there's not many rugby players that go through their career without having some form of layoffs. Definitely the injuries are a, are a low point in my career. You think you're training well, you're kind of getting a good run, three, four months, playing well for your own club and then you get another hammy and it's just like back to square one really. It's common, it's such a physical sport, you're going to get you know, knock, knocked around a bit and um, pick up a few injuries along the way. So I've had two hammy tears, I've done my meniscus twice and I've dislocated my wrist. So they're kind of the, the, the serious injuries I've, I've come across during my career. So I'm coming back from my hamstring. So I was put into kind of hyperextension with someone falling on my knee, which put me in a pretty compromised position. So I'm pretty lucky I didn't kind of do anything worse. Things like that always happen in slow motion. It's weird, like I could, you could feel it happening, but then watching it back, it was like it happened within a second. Uh, I think it might have been the Glasgow game in Europe um, and it's just, you know, sprinting kind of back end of the game. Um, I think it was chasing back for a kick and, it, you know, you, you just feel it pop when you know you know. Um, and it's, you know, it's a terrible feeling when, when it goes because, you know, like, you can't think there's anything else. You kind of know you're in for that. Six, eight, nine weeks of, of rehab coming up, it is tough to take. Most recently, um, two patella knee reconstructions on a uh, on both knees. Three years ago, fully ruptured my right patella tendon. The left one was going to happen as well. So that was just um, just jumping in line out, went to jump, and it kind of felt like um, someone had got a hammer and just smacked me as hard as I can on, on the end of my knee. It's quite a, a lengthy rehab um, after that. I had a couple of complications with um, swelling and it was inhibiting other parts of my leg that meant I was probably out for two or three months longer than I uh, hoped to be. I'd definitely say it's a low point and you do have to really graft. Um, one summer when I, when I did my knee, you know, everyone had five weeks off and I was coming in most days to, to rehab thinking about that pre-season. Me, when I get injured, I, I, I very much focus on myself and how I can get better. So for me, it was kind of my flexibility, hamstring range, and then, you know, eating a lot better, making sure that I can get back as quickly as possible. I did quite a bit of research and got quite a lot of information from you know, nutritionists. As rugby players, very focused on macros in terms of protein and carbohydrates, you know, stuff that, you know, will get you energy for a game or, or that will help you put weight on, maintain weight, stuff like that. But the, the stuff that's kind of the foundation of all that is the micros. And I think turmeric's been a big part of that. I felt that they've all genuinely supported me. You can get kind of turmeric tablets or um, pills or whatever, but I think the fact that it's coming from um, like a natural source, an organic source, I, I think it's really important that you know you, you don't feel like you're having some formulated idea of turmeric, like you know that is turmeric. I think that's really important. I've always been prone to swelling, so yeah, it was looking at, you know, certainly like post-operations, how do I get my swelling down as quickly as possible because that, you know, especially for my knee operations, that was a big factor in stopping me to progress to the next stage of my rehab. So it was, it was looking at stuff um, that I could do both nutritionally and kind of outside. I was uh, quite onto my kind of like herbal teas early on so I did used to drink a lot of uh, especially my early injuries like turmeric tea and it was something I looked into um, you know, when I did my first injury about 10 years ago and I was just kind of making my own teas where the shots are a lot easier than uh, a lot easier than doing that so yeah I take take one daily. Also like Boma I take them most days and you know if I'm injured I do up that to twice three times a day. They say have your turmeric shots I think they, they do recommend you know, once a day, usually. And I just kind of think if, if I'm injured and I need that little extra boost, you know, a couple won't, won't hurt at all. When you're injured, all you can think about is playing and, you know, you'll do anything you can to, to get back on the pitch. So, especially when you're injured, you know, the nutritionists and everyone that, you know, is supporting you definitely push you to, to do the right thing.